Hello friend today, we are going to talk about the story of Lu and Baylor of the Evil Eye. Long ago, in the mystical land of Ireland, a fierce battle brewed between the Fomorians, a race of sea-dwelling giants, and the Tuatha de Danann, a group of powerful deities. Among the Tuatha de Danann was Lu, a god of many talents and skills, known as Lu Lanfada, meaning Lu of the Long Arm. The Fomorian king, Balor of the Evil Eye had a terrifying ability. His single eye had the power to destroy whatever it gazed upon. When he directed his malevolent gaze toward his enemies, they crumbled to dust. Lu had been foretold by a prophecy that he would bring an end to Balor's reign of terror. As the Tuatha Dei Danann prepared for the upcoming battle against the Fomorians, Lu arrived at their camp. He was welcomed by his kin, and quickly revealed his remarkable abilities, which ranged from mastery in craftsmanship to the art of war. With the battle approaching, Lu joined the ranks of the Chuatha de Danan, ready to face the formidable Fomorians. Armed with a sling and a stone, Lu took his position on the battlefield. The clash between the two forces was fierce, and in the midst of the chaos, Lu's skillful aim with the sling came into play. He aimed a stone at Baylor's towering form and struck him in the eye. As Baylor's eye met the stone, its destructive power rebounded, causing Baylor's own eye to shatter. The force of the impact was so immense that it sent Baylor tumbling backwards. The evil eye's curse was broken, and as Baylor fell, so did his dominion. With the fall of Baylor, the Fomorians were defeated, and the Tuatha de Danann emerged victorious. Lu's bravery, cunning, and skill had brought an end to the tyranny of the Fomorians. He was hailed as a hero and a god of great importance, revered for his role in the victory. This tale showcases the power of Lu, his role in Celtic mythology, and the themes of heroism and the triumph of good over evil that are common in many mythological stories. It's important to note that while this story is a part of Celtic mythology, the specifics may vary in different retellings and versions. I hope you enjoy, write to me what do you want me to talk about in the next videos.